in her series of serious speeches. She is TikTok famous. Renegade, renegade, renegade. Yes, that's how a renegade. She is a part of the Dr. Sulik Advisory. She is the Zonta president. Please welcome Gracie P.A. Picking a senior speech topic was tough. I could talk about being a twin, but Annie already did that. Maybe I could write about having eight pets or that I have two moms. But the obvious answer was to talk about what I am most well known for, which is my TikTok account. Good morning, moms, Annie, grandma, and the class of 2022. Today, I will speak about how the internet has taught me to be ambitious, handle hate, and make money. Most people have big dreams as a child, like becoming an actor, an astronaut, or a singer. But over the years, these dreams diminish due to outside influences. Perhaps a friend tells you it's impossible, or a coach tells you you're not good enough. All of a sudden, the dream seems silly or embarrassing and is lost. Journalist Stephanie Walden reports that close to 80% of adults don't end up following through on the career path they envisioned when they were younger. Since I was 10 years old on Musical.ly, I wanted to be a creator. <laughs> I loved the idea of making videos that millions of people could watch and enjoy. Today, with 1.4 million TikTok followers, this is a reality. I make satirical comedy videos along with makeup, fashion, and lifestyle content and have accumulated over 300 million video views and almost 100 million likes. I followed through with my dreams despite it being tough. Every single person in this gym with a phone in their hand has the opportunity to make their dreams come true by utilizing social media. Journalist Kim Lyons reported that in September, TikTok surpassed 1 billion active users. TikTok is a platform where your very first video can go viral and anyone can succeed. Be ambitious, but realize you have to work hard. In my case, seemingly overnight, I became the talent, manager, and accountant of my own little business. I've found that consistency is key, and every day for the past 10 months, I've posted a video at 9.30, 10.30, and 11.30 p.m. With this strict schedule, my time management skills have developed stronger than I could have imagined as I film and post in collab combination with schoolwork and sports. Additionally, I analyze the number of followers, likes, views, and shares from each video to guide me in what to make next. The outside influence that could have potentially made me quit posting was the comment section. Has anyone ever said anything mean to you? Maybe they called you ugly or said you were annoying. Now imagine receiving these comments 24 seven for one year straight. I have a single video with over 133,000 comments and I would not say they are positive. But through this, I have been tested and realized that not a single one of these comments has affected me. I reflected on this a lot to understand that I'm secure enough in myself and how I am in real life to not let random people get to me. When there are headlines in the news about social media, it is usually about the negative mental effects. The comments section is a tempting place to express your opinions and people are quick to criticize others and leave hateful comments. In fact, the North Carolina Medical Journal revealed that more frequent use of TikTok and other social media platforms can lead to negative mental effects. Jacqueline Nessie, an assistant professor in the Department of Psychiatry and Human Behavior at Brown University claims, the cyberbullying, social exclusion, and drama that can occur on these networks have been associated with higher rates of mental issues in adolescents. Despite these negative effects, you will quickly realize you find yourself fixating on negative comments, and eventually you'll discover that the love truly does outweigh the hate. So I advise you all to reflect upon yourself and ensure that your self-esteem and mental state are where they need to be before putting yourself on the internet and urge others to refrain from leaving mean comments on videos. Lastly, I've made social media my job. Surprisingly, my most commonly asked question from peers or other parents is, how much money do you make? It is quite a taboo question to ask, but I don't mind. <laughs> the Atlantic reports that people are more comfortable talking with friends about marital discord, mental health, addiction, race, and politics than money. Despite this, sharing how much money you make can help others gauge if they're being underpaid and create a more equitable work environment. 
In less than one year, I've been able to make over $35,000 through campaigns <laughs> paying as low as $50 and as high as $8,000. Forbes states that influencer marketing is a relationship between a brand and influencers who are trusted figures within a niche community and retain a loyal following. Marketing consultant Jacinda Santora revealed that influencer marketing was valued at $1.7 billion in 2016, and in 2021, it soared to $13.8 billion, meaning over the past few years, brands have become increasingly interested in using content creators to promote their products or services. Right now is the prime time to start creating, build a following, and monetize it. Hopefully this can inspire you to follow your passions and do something you enjoy despite the backlash because it may just turn into your dream job. Although TikTok is not my end career goal, it is something I will continue for as long as I can as a creative outlet and source of income to fund future ventures. The experiences I've had while managing my TikTok account solidified my business interests as I move on to college at NYU to study business technology and entrepreneurship and even gave me my college essay topic. I've enjoyed balancing creativity and practicality while expressing my humor and monetizing it. So follow your dreams no matter what others think and with hard work, you will be successful. I'd like to leave you with a quote from Nicki Minaj. <laughs> you know what inspires me? Fearlessness, drive. I hate lazy people, barbs. Stay in school. Don't you ever be lazy. Don't you ever complain about hard work. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.